I just wish it was handled better. I wish I didn't have to watch the news to find out what was going on. A two works for you investigation into a local early head start center sparked parents outrage. Many reaching out to us saying they were never told about the conditions inside the Sepulpa school. Two works for you's Lorraine calendar shares the family's experiences in a story you'll see only on two. William Robbie's two daughters attended early head start in Sepulpa. After a few months, they noticed their younger daughter getting sick fairly often. They kept having respiratory problems, spent a night uh, in the hospital. According to hospital records, their daughter had RSV or a respiratory virus. They decided it was time to take them out of early head start. Pulled them out at the end of last school year and since then we've had no issues. She's barely gotten sick. According to a DHS report, one of the buildings had mold in the classroom, peeling paint and exposed drywall. Their solution was to solely house staff in that building and move the kids to the other. So we decided to keep our three girls at home instead of letting them be in a head start and that's a huge hassle. And when your school is more hassle than dealing with that, then there's something wrong. Another parent reached out to us wanting to stay anonymous because one of her kids is still at the center, but says she wishes there was more transparency when it came to why they closed that second trailer. Keeping us all in the loop, all in the know, because mold is pretty serious. She says the teachers at the center are fantastic, and that's part of the reason why she's keeping her child at Early Head Start. This is really my family's only option of child care. The director of Head Start and Early Head Start in Oklahoma told us they've been looking for a new building since September, but haven't found property to fit a playground. We reached out to Sepulpa Early Head Start for a comment, but haven't heard back. In Sepulpa, Loring Calendar, two works for you.